Hello, and welcome to week eight. I am uh, talking to you from Toledo, Ohio today. Uh, I'm on a big road trip, so I'll be going, you'll be, so you'll be seeing me in different places for the next few weeks. Um, I should mention up front that the grading, because of the road trip, may be spotty. I'm reading the discussion, I'm keeping up, but I'm not doing a lot of response uh, right now. And I may end up uh, doing two weeks of audio feedback. My, I did audio feedback with um, my spring class and it seemed to be very popular. So I might just do that, um, but it's very time intensive. So uh, I tend to do want two weeks of work sort of banked before I do it. We'll see how it goes anyway. Um, but be patient. If you have any specific questions, you know, you can of course reach out to me. If you're doing something wrong, I'll let you know. If you're doing something right, you'll hear about it eventually. Okay, so the content for this week, uh, what, what I expect of you is what I expect every week. So you're going to watch the video, uh, you're going to read the content page and the book discussion book. Those are both required. And then any of the articles that appeal to you, we only have four uh, this week, so you might just get to all of them. Then there are the two discussion boards. You need six points from the book discussion board and four points from the uh, general discussion board. The discussion's been really interesting to read. Very robust, fun to read. What is going on here? Good Lord. Okay, um, and then your blog, which I've gotten blog links from most of you, and I will be putting those up in the spreadsheet where I have your um, the formats for the response piece. I'll put the blog links there, so if you want to uh, visit the blogs of your classmates, you can feel free. Then you're going to do your reading response project, unless this is the week that you're taking your bye week. And the, um, the different project types are listed in the assignment tool. And then begin thinking about the final project. That's something that's far, far away, but you should be sort of, you know, at this point kind of investigating what the options are and what you might be interested in doing. So our reading this week, we've got Yes, We Can by Dylan and Lachlan, and they, that is about um, putting together a con in your library. And I have um, a friend who did one this year that was actually quite successful. Then we've got Majors, uh, When Kids Say I'm Not a Reader, How Librarians Can Disrupt Traumatic Reading Practices. We do, um, that's some work that needs to be done. Um, I don't know, many of you are probably familiar with Read Aside and sort of the ways that our educational system can harm kids love of reading. So that deals with that. Then Philip Reeve, uh, who writes science fiction, he's got The Worst is Yet to Come, dystopias, and you know, sort of why why teens like them. I guess so they can get used to living in one. No, no, it's fine, everything's fine. And then Lanny Taylor uh, talks about genre blurring in Strange the Dreamer, uh, which was a book that was that we read in this class previously. I, I bumped it out this year. It's a it's a big book, but tremendous. If you're a science fiction uh, fantasy fan, actually, she's more fantasy. Um, it's definitely worth a look. So the books that we're looking at in our literature groups this time around are Children of Blood and Bone, Eliza and Her Monsters, Little Thieves, uh, Six of Crows, and The Rest of Us Just Live Here. They're all favorites of mine and um, well-reviewed recent fairly recent rest of us has been out for a little while um but within the, the past few years so this week we're looking at science fiction versus fantasy and i break down i've got some anita silvey quotes break down um sort of the differences which comes down to dragons versus spaceships and then we look at fandoms and how that uh, can we can use the the power of fandoms to promote reading particularly in these um, genres then we look at boys, and this is, you know, rather gender specific, and I don't mean to be, but there is definitely a disconnect for um, for male readers in high school. I I would say it's probably a ten to my my readers, my fiction readers who come into my high school library, it's very clearly female and female identifying um, readers as opposed to male readers. So. Um, there is an issue. What, what is that disconnect about? I used to have um, people go look at Guy's Read, but that's been under construction. That's, um, oh golly, I've forgotten his name. He wrote some really funny books, and his name is hard to spell, and that's all I've got. But, um, you know, there's definitely, there's definitely a disconnect there, and uh, if you want to discuss that, we don't actually have any, <laughs> any peer-reviewed evidence in this this time around but i uh meant to find an article and never got around to it but it's certainly something you can talk about so um 
I don't have a lot of extra content this week. There's those four articles, but the books are, uh, a couple of them are real, real big, but they are also really interesting. The world building uh, piece is fascinating. I've never been much of a fantasy or science fiction reader uh, before I became a librarian, and then in an effort to read, you know, what all my students are, are reading, I, I thought oh, I should, should get into this a little bit. And I found that um, I really do love when a writer just takes you into a place that they have created from whole cloth. So I hope that you enjoy the reading. It's, um, it's not for everyone. So if you're not, don't. It's no value judgment on you. Everybody has what they like. But uh, just give it a shot. Have an open mind. And I really look forward to seeing uh, what you have to say in the discussion board. All right. Happy week eight. And I'll see you on the boards. Bye.